Welcome back to the Colorado Avalanche GM mode here in NHL 16. This is going to be episode 26 of the series. And in episode 26, we'll be taking on the Edmonton Oilers in the Western Conference Finals as we, last round, beat the Minnesota Wild four games to nothing. We swept them. And then the first round to get order to play the Wild, we beat the St. Louis Blues four games to two. So we beat the Blues four games to two, then beat the Wild four games to nothing. And now we are in the Western Conference Finals playing the Edmonton Oilers who beat the Jets 4-1 last round. And in order to beat the Jets, they beat the Flames as they swept them four games nothing in the first round. And in the Eastern Conference Finals, the winner of this Western Conference series will either be facing the New York Islanders or the Washington Capitals in the Stanley Cup Finals. Now in the regular season, the Oilers were led by a few guys. They had a bunch of really good players. McDavid was uh, by far their best. 82 games played, 86 points, 21 goals, 65 assists. An insane season. He is a bona fide superstar at this point in the year. And Taylor Hall had 35 goals. He was their leading goal scorer, 34 assists, which is 69 points in 70 games played. He missed a few games due to injury. Jordan Eberle had 25 goals with 40, 43 assists, which is 68 points in 82 games, which is still a pretty darn good point total. And so far in the playoffs, they have been led by a whole bunch of guys who are just scoring like crazy. Nobody is able to stop this offense as Yakupov, Hall, Eberle, Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, and Slepshev, I believe how you say it, all have more than point per game totals. As Yakupov, these guys who I'm going to name off have nine games played, as Slepshev, I believe, has seven games played and nine points. But these guys have nine games played, so Yakupov has 12 points with six goals and six assists. Hall, seven goals, five assists, 12 points. Eberly, 11 points, which is three goals, eight assists. Nugent Hopkins, two goals, eight assists, 10 points. McDavid, three goals, seven assists, 10 points. So that is five guys that all have played nine games and have more at least 10 points, some even more than 10 points, while Slepshev has played seven games and has nine points. That's an insane point total. These guys are scoring on all cylinders. And here we are in Denver, Colorado at the Pepsi Center, home of our Avalanche, who will be taking on the Edmonton Oilers here in game one of the Western Conference Finals. Malcolm Subban in net for us, eight and two with a 1.38 goals against and a .947 save percentage with two shutouts so far in the postseason. So here we are with Ben Scrivens in between the pipes for the Oilers. He's 8-1 with a 2.17 goals against and a .931 save percentage. Both goalies have played extremely well so far in the postseason. And now here we are early on in the first period, a rush from the Avalanche. Shot saved, deflected into the corner. Picked back up by the Avalanche. Another shot attempt, that goes wide. And nothing going on for the Avalanche. So here come the Oilers on a rush. They lose the puck, but they get it right back. Shot saved by Subban, picked up by the Avalanche. Pass it obliquely up the right-hand wing. Crosses the blue line into Oilers' zone. Shot goes wide, picked up by the Avalanche. At least struggle with for a bit. Passed back to D. Passed over to Zdorov, takes a shot. That goes wide, nothing going for the Avs. So at the end of one period, we're all tied up at nothing. Pick things up in the second period. Johnson finds Bodker up the left-hand wing. Blasts by everybody. Backhander is saved by Scrivens. Nothing going. Still nothing, nothing. 16-20 left in the second now. Dumped into the Avalanche zone. Collected by the Avalanche. Zadorov finds Grigorenko. He's on a breakaway. Forehand, backhand, or backhand, forehand is saved. Picked right back up by the Avalanche. Shot saved by Scrivens. Scrivens, correction. As now rushed by the Avalanche, uh, by the Oilers here. Cross-crease attempt. Shot saved by Subban. Collected behind the net. Backhand save. Rebound attempt save. Picked back up by the Oilers. Backhand save. And finally picked up by the Avalanche. Passed into the zone. Here comes Troy Bork. One on one. Deke move. Loses it. Picks it back up. Skates to the center. Takes a shot. Saved by Scrivens. Nothing going for either team there on a bunch of chances. So now seven minutes left here in the second. Cross crease shot. Save Scrivens. Nothing going. There, yet again, 111 left here in the second. Face-off win by the Avalanche. Slap shot, blocked out in front. Picked up by Duchesne. Skates out in front, wrists it, but he sails it over the net with 39 seconds left. So the clock running down here, less than 30 seconds. Here come the Oilers on the rush. 
but it's a nice forward check, or a nice back check by the Avalanche, picked up by Duchesne. Passed up the Bodker, right hand wing, takes a shot, rebound, saved by Scrivens. What an insane save there by Scrivens to keep this game tied up at nothing at the end of two periods. So we'll be picking things up in the third, 13-20 now. As the Avalanche have the puck, but a big uh, tussle or a big scramble in the neutral zone as a cross-crease attempt there by the Oilers results in a goal. As the Edmonton Oilers strike first here in the third period, 12.54 left. They take a one-goal lead, scored by Puyat, assisted by Korpakowski, and I believe it was Dreisaitl who had the second assist. So 10.43 here, left in the third, pass to the Peverly on the right-hand wing. He skates in. Takes a shot, saved by Scrivens, picked right up by the Avalanche, pass back to D. Over the two, Yondel takes a slap shot, stick breaks, nothing going, 6.30 now in the third period. Here come the Oilers, takes a shot, saved by Subban, picked up by Johnson, passed all the way across the ice to Grigorenko, skates down the ice, takes a shot, and scores! Mikhail Grigorenko makes it a 1-1 hockey game with 5.50 left in the third period. Mikhail Grigorenko with a game-tying goal, assisted by Eric Johnson, and Malcolm Subban. 3.50 left now here in the third. Here come the Oilers. Shot saved by Subban. Deflects into his left corner, but a huge hit by the Avalanche, and now McKinnon is on the rush. Gets around his man. He's on the break. Backhand shot. Can't get past Scrivens. He makes the save. Still tied at one here. Face off to the right of Scrivens. Won by the Oilers, and Taylor Hall has a breakaway. Here he comes. One-on-one -on -one with Subban, and Subban makes the save. Huge save there to keep it a 1-1 hockey game as we are heading to overtime. It is the end of regulation. So pick things up in OT here, a rush by the Avalanche. They skate in, rebound attempt, shot saved by Scrivens. Picked up behind the net, collected by the Avalanche still. Pass back to D, Yondel over to Cronwall who takes a shot on net, but it's saved by Scrivens. Now here come the Avalanche yet again. Passed over, shot, saved Scrivens. Passed out. Neutral zone play here. Here come the Oilers. They deke inside. Lose the puck. Nice back check by the Avalanche. McKinnon. He's on the rush. One on two. Skates in. Takes a shot. Scores! Nathan McKinnon ends this game in overtime. Nathan McKinnon makes it a 2-1 Avalanche lead as that's going to be your final. That is how the cookie crumbles in this one as the Colorado Avalanche come with the victory by a score of 2-1 over the Edmonton Oilers here in game one of the Western Conference Finals. Now with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Colorado Avalanche GM Mode. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye. That my daddy died. I never got a chance to see him. Never heard nothing but bad things about him. Mama, I'm depending on you. Tell me the truth. Mama just hung her head and said, son, 